Hello, I'm Johnny Rowland, your host of the shooting show, and welcome, friends, to this week's program. Another beautiful day down on the range here in northwest Louisiana. Great day to be out shooting, absolutely. Hope you're having good weather where you are. Welcome to this week's program. This is number 470 or 471. I don't want to have lost track. But, you know, a lot of people said that our shooting show was impossible to do, was undoable. Well, we've been here this is our 11th year, and 469 or 470, 471, every what show it is, uh, all those shows later, we have continued to bring information about guns, about shooting, about about our position on the Second Amendment, about what our rights are. We've continued to do all that all these years. The problem is we've got to reach more people. We're not reaching enough people. And we have a couple of things on this week's program we're going to talk about briefly. Uh, something I want to show you. This is a, a Colt Model Combat Commander 1991A1 that belonged to a, a good friend of ours, uh, Fawn Caudill, who was from Michigan. And Fawn was a loyal viewer of our program, certainly a good friend. And we lost him back in, in January from, from a brain tumor. Uh, it's a terrible thing when somebody who's middle age, uh, we, we lose at a time when we think they're in the prime of their lives. But Fawn, of course, being a very loyal viewer, certainly a, a friend to, to be in the project. His family has donated a gun that we're going to sell. It is a 460 Roland conversion on the Colt Combat Commander. This gun uh, has a retail of around $900. And we're going to sell it. We're going to take bids on it and anything is reasonable. We, we won't know. We won't just give it away. No, but, but still, I mean, <clears throat> we're going to be it is in as new condition with our 460 kit, has the, the barrel, and if you would like to have this gun, in fact, let's take a closer look at it uh, briefly before we talk any more about it. See, so friends, here's our 460 uh, kit here installed in this 1991A1, has these Ivorex grips. We'll have two sets of grips uh, for the gun, actually, and has some more artwork on the other side. Uh, just in as new condition, and we appreciate so much the family of of fun we appreciate so much evelyn his wife sending this us uh, this gun so we can can literally uh help the project by by selling it to uh, get some money to help us stay on the air again we appreciate so much uh his family like i said the gun is is as new uh, would retail it around with our kit on it around nine hundred dollars so uh certainly if you would like to have this gun we'll have to send it to an ffl holder but that'll be fine. We can do that uh, on your behalf. Uh, you can call us here at the show, area 318-377-5189, or you can uh, mail us at our standard shooting show address, 327 Irvin Roland Road, Doubly, Louisiana, zip code 71024. And it's such a nice gesture, and I tell you what, friends, we do need the money. This will be one I'd like to keep for myself, but I can't afford it. So uh, if you'd like to have this great Colt Combat Commander uh, lightly customized with our 460 Roland kit in place, uh, it's, it's a very, very fine gun. You can deal with anything that walks in North America with this handgun right here in our cartridge. So uh, anyway, let us know if you'd like to have it. Like I said, we definitely need the money. And uh, uh, many of you are, have called about prepaid legal insurance. And, and Karen's here today. Come on in, Karen, if you would, please. And I appreciate you stopping by today. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you remember this is Karen Powell. She, she's who you talk to when you call about prepaid legal insurance. And Karen, talking with our, our people that, that watch our show, mm -hmm. it's been a real pleasure, hasn't it? It has. It has. It's uh, definitely a whole new world I haven't been exposed to being a nurse for 14 years. Well, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. And Karen's a very capable person. I appreciate you taking time away from your family as well, helping us. So it really is, friends. This prepaid legal insurance is a great, uh, a great service. Uh, Karen, you actually had, as a nurse, uh, when when you uh, came to help us part time a while mm -hmm. back, you said, "Hey, I know about prepaid legal because you had had it right. for many years." Yes, I did, and uh, you know, you never know when you buy medical insurance or law insurance if you're going to have to use it. And I actually had to use it one time, and I called prepaid legal. They called me back within 24 hours and took care of the problem over the phone. Oh, listen, and could have. It's a twenty-six dollars a month, friends. It's essentially legal insurance. It, this is a great thing. $26 a month. You don't have to sign a contract. And when you call in, our standard number, which is our shooting show voicemail, so you can call that number any time of, of day, and, and certainly Karen can answer that because she doesn't come out here every day. 
So anyway, uh, you, that number, 318-682-4218, uh, our shooting show voicemail, and that and Karen will call you back within 24 hours, and we really we appreciate it so much. And I appreciate you coming down today, Thank Karen. you. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe the Bob was a good man. I don't know if they have satellite dishes in heaven or if they get to watch a show, but I would like to say we're going to open this week's program with a gun that uh, Fon Caudill has has essentially bequeathed here to our program through his family. So I don't know if Fon can hear this or not, but these shots are for him. Yes. I think he'd be proud. Stay tuned for more of The Shooting Show after these important messages. The Shooting Show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station. This is the new Georgia Arms 20th anniversary catalog. Of course, has our a memorial there to our good friend Jim Clark there on the cover. This is a terrific catalog from the finest ammunition maker in the United States. They have all kinds of great prices on all sorts of ammunition. 243 Winchester, 270s, uh, 7.62 by 39 Russian. Uh, all kinds of great stuff. They've even got 308 tracers, 30 out six tracers. Uh, all kinds of neat stuff here in this great new Georgia Arms catalog. They have components if you want to load your own ammo. And look here, we've got the shooting show in our new 460 rolling kit on sale as well. Georgia Arms has the best prices for custom grade ammunition that I'm aware of in the United States. And guess what else? They're helping to support our shooting show. Friends, give them a call today. Free phone call, free catalog. 1-800-624-6861, 1-800-624-6861, Georgia Arms, and please remember to tell them that you heard it and saw it here on our program. Now friends, obviously I don't have all my shooting glasses or my hearing protection in right now. We have something that is really important to talk to you about. This is, this is more important than I can say. You know, the problem we have here on our programs, whether it's our radio network or here on television, we don't reach enough people. We need to buy more satellite time. Most of us on the, on the patriotic side, most of us as gun owners, most of us uh, don't have a lot of money to spend. It's very expensive doing what we do. We've got to reach more Americans if we have any hope at all of retaining any of these guns. We've got to reach more Americans. We must. We have to. <clears throat> so we're always looking for things to do. As you well know, we've tried a lot of things on this show. We'll continue whatever. When something doesn't work, we try something else. We add to it. We do what we can. Well, this week we have a very special presentation. And this is important stuff, friends. You know, we've got to gain more finances for the project. We have to. One, to stay on the air, to get our uplink running, to get our network happening. We've got to make some inroads. We must do it. Uh, unfortunately, most of us don't have much money. We certainly don't here. You know, the cartridge has been a huge help. It's helped us stay on the air. Our 460 cartridge has been a real blessing because we're, many of these shows we've done on the strength of that cartridge on revenue gained from that cartridge. No, it hadn't made us a lot of money, but what it has done, it has helped us stay here. Well, there's something else we're going to, we're going to, we're going to try. We're going to try. You know, periodically over these years, we certainly, music has been a large part of what we do all my life uh, as part of my work and things. Well, uh, and certainly our CD sales, our, our Citizen of the Earth CD sales have really helped. But we have something now. We have a new CD. And friends, this is important. And let me tell you what. This is not about personal glory for Johnny. That's not what this is about. 
This is about our project being able to make enough money so we can reach more Americans. That's what it's about. That's why it's important. That's why I don't mind bringing it to you. We're not asking for money this time. This is not, although if you, if you can help us financially, please do. We're not asking for money. We're asking for help. I'll tell you how we're going to do it. This is important. We've got some video we're going to show you in just a moment. And we'll come back. We have a new CD. My good friend Bob Millsap, you've seen him here on the program in years past, uh, a very famous record producer in Nashville, known more in Nashville than in Los Angeles and New York than, than in the general public because he's a producer and publisher and, and a very fine uh, player, of course, and a songwriter, a very successful songwriter. Uh, he and I have been friends for many years, and we have, we have done a new CD, and he's been good enough to do this for me in his studio because he's trying to help too. We have several genuine hit quality songs on this CD. We can have a big song, friends, if we can. I don't know if we can. The Nashville deal is so locked up, I don't know if it's possible anymore. I know it's possible, but I don't know if it's doable for us. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to ask for your help. Let me show you a couple of things right now, please. Take a look at this. This is very, very important. Uh, take a look. Well, Johnny Ray, how's your mama? Doing great, Bob. Boy, I'm telling you, that woman can cook. She can cook. I guess everybody's aware of that, though. They've seen you on TV. <laughs> huh? Thank you. Can't so quite get him all in the thank one you. screen. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we may cut that out. But, uh, <clears throat> friends, I, I tell you, it's a great experience. And, Bob, I really appreciate uh, your assistance. I mean, my goodness, getting to come over here to your studio and, and have you work with me is, a, is, a, is an awfully big deal to yeah, all of us. That's a rare privilege, Johnny Ray. Well, it is that. You know, we got to watch him, friends. You never know what he's going to come up with. But, you know, you've listened, you've mixed down our, our new song, What Do You Think? Johnny Ray, I've done a lot of music in my life, and uh, including having uh, one of the top ten songs of the century for ASCAP, which is American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. Give them a little plug there. Yeah, and uh, I've never heard anything more satisfying than this song right here. And I think you have to judge songs on the basis of, uh, you know, how they reach you. Not how strong the language is, or how correct the language is, or the grammar, or anything else. It's, it's how the song reaches the overall thing, the music and the lyric, how it all works together and uh, comes together inside you. Well, that's a good point. You think we might have a pretty big record here if we can get some help, we can get it done? Yeah, if you can get some help, because, uh, you know, the powers that be out there, the big people on the radio stations, there's one company I heard of last year that owns 450 radio stations. See, the good uh, Captain Reagan got us into all that when he deregulated radio stations. And yeah. Now we got about six or seven guys sitting out in California that are running thousands of our radio stations for us, and, and they don't take requests, literally. Well, I'll tell you what, friends, here's what we're going to do. Bob, you, you would say, I think we could say that you believe this, this very possibly could be the, a really hit record. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, now, friends, here's where you folks come in. Because we don't know if we can do this or not. We flatly don't know. Uh, Bob's had experience with a lot of very large records. Think of what this would do for our project if we could. And the only thing we can do, we're going to ask everyone out there who will to call your country radio station once every day for a couple of weeks, your favorite country station. So that we, I think qualify country, I think, as much. That's what yeah, we would play. It's kind of middle-of-the-road country, middle-of-the-road pop, too. It'll, it'll work either way. Please call your radio station now. Then they're not going to have they're not going to have our recording. But you know what? If they get enough calls, and you tell them to reach the guy on the shooting show, the TV guy, you know what? We'll send them a CD. You know, we because ever how many is I, I don't I don't anticipate thousands. Of, you know, but we'll send them a CD, and we're going to ask them to play it. If this little song gets on the airways, we think it'll win. Think what it'll do for our whole project. That's what this is really about.
Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. The English Civil War of the 17th century produced a flood of refugees from royal tyranny that ballooned the colonization of America. Those that remained in Britain thought they had put an end to government run amok by executing King Charles I. But after a brief respite, his kids were back on the throne and the same old dictatorship came along with them. Finally, in 1689, the Stuart kings were given the boot and William and Mary of Orange were invited to ascend the throne after signing a Bill of Rights that, among other things, protected the right to keep and bear arms. The kings had believed that they were the law. Whatever they said was law. They did not believe that they were accountable to anyone. They called this doctrine the divine right of kings, but the doctrine is actually contrary to the teaching of the Bible. A Scottish theologian, Samuel Rutherford, wrote a book entitled Lex Rex. Rutherford was so hated by the monarchy, they wanted to burn him at the stake. Having been uncooperative with royal tyrants during his life, Rutherford's last act of defiance was seen as dying before he could be burned. <laughs> Not to be deterred by his death, the crown ordered his bones dug up and burned along with his books. Makes you want to read a book that had a bunch of tyrants so upset, doesn't it? If it does, the book is still in print by that title. It is nothing more than two Latin words that mean the law is king. Rutherford laid down an historical and biblical foundation for limiting the power of government and holding the government accountable to the people when proper limits were exceeded, especially when limits were violated repeatedly over time. Well, the old divine right of kings theory, or Rex Lex, is alive and well in the U.S. federal government. It has raised its tyrannical head in the case before the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. The feds have taken the same position as the British government following the Boston Massacre. Their agents are immune from prosecution. The case involves the Boundary County, Idaho, prosecutor's attempt to press charges against Lon Horiuchi, the FBI agent who shot Randy Weaver's wife in the head while she was holding a baby in her arms on Ruby Ridge in 1992. The lawyer for Horiuchi, the Solicitor General under Clinton, Seth Waxman, told the justices that it did not matter whether Vicki Weaver's death was the result of excessive force, these federal law enforcement officers are privileged to do what would otherwise be unlawful if done by a private citizen. It is fundamental function of our government, quote unquote. In other words, Horiuchi's defense is that he was simply following orders. That defense resulted in the execution of numerous Nazis following the Nuremberg trials after World War II.
What a dark day that a mere 45 years after seeking the death of murderous government agents, the American government has taken the Nazi position in defense of its own murderous agents. From Washington, this is Larry Pratt for Gun Owners of America. For more information on Gun Owners of America, friends, you can give them a call, 888-886-GUNS, 888-886-4867. Remember, they're helping to keep us on the air. They're doing a great job. Let's support them, too. Okay, friends, you know, a perception, a lot of the battle that we face here on our program and as shooters is one of perception. You know, there's a reason these black guns are made like this. It's less expensive to make, such as the AR-15 here. This is a favorite of the anti-gunners. They love to hate this gun. They just love to. But you know what? If you show somebody the trim and handy little M1 carbine, they say, oh, that's a cute little gun. That's probably a 22. Well, no, it doesn't look nearly as businesslike as this AR-15. But you know what? In potency, there's not much difference between these two guns. Not as much as you think. The 30 carbine is no joke out of a little rifle. It's no joke out of a handgun either. But the 223 was never designed to kill anybody. It was only designed to wound somebody. Not nearly as much difference as you might think. Observe. All right, we'll unload. One, two, three. Check them three times, remember. Little 30 carbine. Bottle next to it, yeah. The 223 is, is not a joke, but don't discount this little tiny gun here. Let's see. Not as much difference as we might think. Someone might look at one of our little mech techs in 460, say, well, heck, that looks like a toy. Well, we know better. One, two, three, we know it's empty. You see, friends, it's a matter of perception. And that's why we're here, to show the differences and to give people the proper perspective about what firearms are and how they work. You know, thanks to television and movies, someone sees a big revolver like this 44 Magnum and they never guess that our 460 gun is certainly the equal of a 44 Magnum revolver, much smaller. You know, but it's, again, perception. You know, the anti-gun people don't understand that this little M1 carbine, and this one, thankfully, courtesy of Israeli Arms International, is just darn near as potent as this AR-15. No, it doesn't have as big a, a magazine, although there are 30-round magazines out there for the 30 carbine. But you see, friends, this just goes to show this gun has had the bayonet lug sawed off of it. This one's still got it. Uh, they're so afraid of things like bayonet lugs and pistol grips. Well, let me ask you this. How does the pistol grip make this gun more potent than this gun. It doesn't. That's stupid. Thinking a pistol grip makes a gun more potent is like thinking that racing stripes make a car a sports car. It's stupid. <clears throat> you know, this is the battle we face. We've got to reach more Americans. We, we must reach more Americans. Because if we don't, they're being brainwashed in schools now. They're literally being they know, the anti-gun people understand, they can't do anything with me, they probably can't do anything with you. So they start on our children, and they want to make all guns evil in the eyes of children, unless you have one with government permission, with government sanction. Well, we the people are supposed to be where the government derives its power, not us from the government. It's, we got it all backwards now. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages.
for folding stocks, for pistol grips, for regular stocks, for replacement stocks, for magazine extension tubes for your shotgun, for magazine replacement springs for your shotgun. How about the executive eye scraper, the executive letter opener, all from Choate Machine and Tool when you call for a free catalog. You can get the executive letter opener, a multi-purpose tool, or the executive eye scraper, a multi-purpose tool, for only your choice, only $2.00 when you call for a free choke catalog. You can get both of them for $4, a $10 value. Friends, if you're a shooter or a gun owner, you need one of the choke machine and tool company catalogs. Call them today, 1-800-972-6390. In Ballinop, Arkansas, they're helping to support our project. You need one of their catalogs. Again, 1-800-972-6390. And please remember to tell them that you saw it here on our show. And friends, now for our support group, we have Brooks Communication in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We have Custom Leatherwork and Saddlery in Denham Springs, Louisiana. For League of the South information and graphs shooting information, Dennis Crocker there in South Carolina. We have Gearlings Equipment Rental in Southern California. And we also have Mike and Sherry Harris Pilot Services and Consulting there in South Carolina. We'll see you on the next show.